Hi everyone, welcome back. I've got another empties video for you today and this time I've got them all in a hotel chocolate bag. So um, there might be a few less um, than usual but there may not because it's actually quite a full bag of smaller things so they're probably going to be the same number of items. Anyway, if you'd like to see all the stuff I've been using up and a few fails then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to go in no particular order and I know that some people will like me to organise into categories and find that useful but most of the time, to be honest, I just don't have the time for that. So I'm going to just go through them randomly and I'll list the products in the description bar for you. So the first thing is I got through a box of these pink parcel uh, for bedtime um, sanitary wear that they send you. No other way to describe it. Uh, I haven't shown this one before because I have shown the empty boxes of the other products they send, which are tampons, but not this one. So I used those. What can I say? They're just basically whatever you tell them to send me. I think I told them to send me always and um, yeah, they're fine. I personally, now I'm not using the subscription service, would just go and get them from Asda or Superdrug. My favourite ones are actually from Asda. Um, I got through an N-Spa Passion Fruit Shower and Bath Gel. I really enjoyed this. I put a bit of water in to get the last out of it. I really enjoyed the scent. Uh, I would repurchase them. They do go on and on and on forever, but they're only £3.00. And to me, they're just as nice as the ones you get from the body shop. So I would recommend those. I'm using a coconut one at the minute. I've got like a cherry and a mango one in the drawer. So just loads, uh, they do loads of scents. There's something for everybody. Um, I got through um, a kid's gentle, mild and gentle shampoo from Aldi. Um, I used half of this and then put it away and then for a few months and brought it back out because it's not very mild and gentle. My daughter's not nearly four and when I first started using this she was over three but it wasn't mild enough and I noticed over time it was making her scalp dry and flaky and like an eczema on her scalp. So I stopped it for that reason but then I, when I brought it back and tried it again later it was fine on her so just be a bit wary, just be a bit careful of it especially if you're going into that from like the baby shampoo because it's quite a transition. In hindsight I wished I'd mix sort of half and half baby shampoo and the kid shampoo just to help her to transition. Um, but yes I would buy it again at the minute to be honest I'm actually using some shampoo on her that didn't work out for my hair type because she has a very different hair type to mine um, but it's a normal like adult person's shampoo and she's absolutely fine with that as well so um, yeah I'm not sure if I'm going to stick specifically to kids shampoos moving forwards I might just get her like a chamomile shampoo like a nice brightening one because she's got like a uh, dark blonde colour to her, her hair um, I also got through a Royal Bloom Laura Ashley bath soak infused with jasmine and rose. My mum bought me this in a set, came in a beautifully packaged box and was a set of products. Um, I find it difficult to put things in my channel that people bought me as gifts because I don't want to upset anyone and my mum is a particularly sensitive person. Um, but I'm not too keen on the scent. Um, but I really love the gift. I'm going to use up all of the products but I wouldn't repurchase it just because it's not my favourite scent. So um, I got a, I got through a Temple Spa All Together Now shampoo for hair, body and bath. I personally wouldn't use something like this on my hair. Um, I just use it as a hand wash. Um, well, I used it as a hand wash, let's say, and it's nice. I, I got it when I went on my honeymoon to a spa. I wouldn't repurchase it. It's very overpriced for what it is. It's just a hand wash. And, my husband and I are absolutely loving and our guests are loving the, the, this rhubarb one that we got from Wilco's. In fact my husband's never in his lifetime commented on a hand wash but has actually said please don't buy any other one but this one and please stock up on loads in case they stop selling it. That's how strongly he felt about it, he loves it. And I had a guest come over and she was just like, wow, I need some of this. And again, I've never had a guest come over and use the bathroom and then comment on the hand wash. So yeah, that, that I'm not going to repurchase that one for, for that reason. I got through a Next Bee Baby bath foam. So I wouldn't repurchase that um, just because my, my little girl's not a baby anymore. If I had another baby, I would consider it. But I assume with it being Next, it's probably more expensive than somewhere else. And I didn't, didn't think it was better. It's just your average white scentless sensitive bath foam and something that was 99p for a big one like this would do exactly the same job in my eyes. Um, I got through my Clinique deep, deep Comfort Hand and Cuticle Cream. I did enjoy this product but I mentioned it in um, a Favourites and Fails video as a fail because I just don't think it's worth the amount that money is being charged for it. It is nice, oh I've got a tiny bit left, it is nice but when you compare it to say for example hand creams that are cheaper 
it's it's not better um i just i don't find it nourishing enough to use as a night treatment because i prefer something like the um hand chemistries retin oil uh oil or for example um Lush's uh, Lemon Flutter which is a cuticle butter and I like to put that on my cuticles and my knuckles at night time so I don't find it as nourishing as that and as a day and as a hand cream in the day it's difficult it wouldn't be everyone's cup of tea because it is quite thick and it doesn't absorb as quickly as more of a daytime hand lotion would plus it doesn't have SPF in it which a lot of hand creams do now have in so I wouldn't repurchase it <laughs> Um, oh, I'm going to put that to one side because I haven't quite finished that one yet. So next I've got an Impulse True Love Shower Gel. Um, again, this one was a gift, so I appreciate the gift, but, and, I, and it, so for that reason it pains me to say, but I'd like to share that I'm not the big fa biggest fan of Impulse. To me, Impulse is the female equivalent of Lynx, and if you watch my channel you know how I feel about Lynx. It should not be used after the age of 19 on a person. It should just be a teenage boy's product and not a man's product in my opinion. And Impulse, I feel the same. Great for maybe teenage girls, not great for women. So Little Angels Cotton Wool Pads. Um, I got through all of these. I bought them when my daughter was little because I thought I'd need cotton wool pads for her and ended up not really needing cotton wool pads for her. So I think I used those to take my nail varnish off, my nail polish, because they're too big. I only need a small one for my facial skincare. And I would repurchase them. They did the job fine. Um, but then again, I wouldn't go out my way for them because, you know, those generic cotton wool pads you can get at Wilco's or Asda or Superdrug or anywhere, really. And I do quite like the Superdrug ones. Um, next, I got through a Hello Kitty strawberry gel toothpaste. My daughter really enjoyed that. Um, yes, I would repurchase it. It comes came in a set with a little cup and two toothbrushes. And I think I'm going to go back to Home Bargains and see if they've got that set still there. Um, she really enjoyed it. <clears throat> I got through a Carlcott Manor Rich Body Butter. So it wasn't very rich. It smells really funny now. It didn't smell like that when I used it. It's like, literally gone off the remnants of it. Um, yeah, it smells awful now. And I don't know if it's always smelled that awful or if I've changed. But yeah, I mean, I didn't expect much. I think it was something like five or six products for a fiver, or four or five or six products for a fiver at um, a chemist I was waiting at, just browsing for things as I was waiting for my prescription medicine to come and um, yeah, not over the moon with those products, I bought two lotions from them, the butter and a different one I didn't really like either. Um, Avon Red Berries, um, this I got through before, uh, most of it before spring started and then the last remnants I've been getting through um, you know, since then because it's not really a spring product as you can see from the picture it's sort of like a cranberry sweet trifly Christmassy scent it's absolutely gorgeous just like cake as well it's beautiful I love it so much especially for November December time and January and yes I have already repurchased another one of those it was on sale as well because it's not the right time of year for it and it's gone in the cupboard until uh, the winter time I got through a giant 500 millilitres of Paul Mitchell instant moisture daily treatment I wouldn't repurchase this, but I must say, depending on your hair type, this is amazing. I literally used this product for years and nothing else, for years and years and years when I was a lot younger. And I would only use Paul Mitchell in general, and that was before I had my channel. And um, I love the, his products. Let's pop that down. I wouldn't repurchase it just because I feel like for some reason now, um, it just doesn't offer enough moisture it's it's when you put it in it's very very thick and it's almost like a body lotion if that makes sense that's how thick it is a thick body butter and you put it in your hair and I just feel like I'm preferring products with a bit more slip so I can brush my hair I like products that have uh, conditioners that will condition my hair and uh, make it at less frizzy and also uh, detangle I help with detangling and that does moisturize but doesn't help me detangle in fact it's quite difficult to get a brush through your hair when you've got that in for most people that probably wouldn't be an issue, but with me for curly hair, I only ever brush my hair when I've got a conditioner in it, so I need a conditioner that's going to allow me to brush my hair easily. Next, I've got my 2-in-1 shampoo and conditioner deep cleansing uh, from the Protect range of Asda. This is what my I would get for my husband. He doesn't really suffer from um, dandruff, but these are sort of marketed in almost like a head and shoulders type of dupe way. 
and yeah he does enjoy this he likes shampoos and uh, with conditioner in um, to get his hair a little bit more softness um, I got through a Meru Maya integrative effective skincare melting cleansing balm didn't think much of it it wasn't bad but I just wouldn't go out my way to purchase it it's hard with skincare to tell from a tiny sample if you're gonna like it or not um, but yeah, no, it didn't. It didn't wow me. It didn't leave a lasting impression or anything. So, um, that I think I got that with a glossy box, some sort of subscription box anyway. It pains me to throw this away. This would be a fail because there's so much left of it, literally loads. Um, but this BB cream by Ombre Solaire in SPF 50 is actually orange, straight up orange. I've tried so many different ways to make it work. I took it on holiday with me. My husband, I put it on the other day, even though I'm quite dark with my fake tan at the minute. I thought I'd just wear it around the house in the garden. My husband was like, what is wrong with your face? And he was just really taken aback by it. He was like, please don't put that on, you're freaking me out. And he doesn't, as I say, usually comment on anything, so it must have been really bad for him to have noticed. And unfortunately, it's gonna have to go. Um, I got through a Lana Lips hand cream with antibacterial condition and protect. I loved the idea of this. Just the idea that you have your anti back in there with your lotion and if it had been moisturising enough for me and it soaked in enough for me then I would have totally, totally gone and out and bought it but this to me just, it left a residue on your hands that interfered with me getting about my day to day and wasn't the most hydrating um, and nourishing so I'm not going to be buying it. I got through a moisturising hand and body lotion in rose by m &S. Is it m &S? Yeah, Marks and Spencers. I really like the scent. I know Rose isn't everybody's. It's like a Marmite thing if you're in the UK, you know what I mean? You either love it or hate it. Um, I like Rose, um, but I have quite sensitive hands and I'm I'm not sure me putting a lot of scent on them on a regular basis would, is really doing them, would be doing them any good. And if I was going to use a rose hand cream, I'd probably use the Body Shop one over that one because it's more nourishing and it's got SPF in it as well. So um, I got through a Glimmer Sticks eyeliner from Avon. Oh, oh, yeah. I was going to say that made it look like there was some product left in. Oh, there is loads of product left in. Well, for some reason, when I'm clicking up, it wouldn't click up. I'm going to keep trying now. Right, so as soon as you apply pressure on it to put it on your eye, it goes back in like a little turtle. And when you're clicking, nothing's happening. But I've just seen that it's actually got loads of product left in it. So that's a massive fail. I thought it was empty and used up, but it turns out the packaging's just broken. So I'm really disappointed about that, Avon. And black is black, not so much. I definitely wouldn't repurchase that. I much prefer my um, Scandalized by Rimmel, the Scandalized Capricole Kajal. In fact, I sharpened it this morning. The one like that, this is the purple version, but that's that's the one that I prefer, the black one of that. I got through this sample of Lancome Hypnos, and this is the best mascara I've ever used. I tried to reuse the wand. In fact, let me get that product and show you what I tried to use the wand. I've got an empties best ever and an empties fail. So this I didn't get through. I didn't use hardly any of this um, rim or waterproof. Uh, scandalized mascara and that and you'll have seen it in my last favorites and fails currently loving video as a fail because the wand is just too huge how on earth anyone can make that work I do not know um, but I tried to dip this wand from the Lancome Hypnos when I'd used it up into here and use it um, but it just wasn't working that way and it was just getting really messy so I'm going to chuck both of them but I did finish this sample up before I started trying to use the wand in this product and this as I say is the best mascara I've ever ever used my husband for my birthday tried to bite me tried to listen to what my favourite was and he ended up getting me the doll eyes version in waterproof which I'm really glad I've been able to try but nevertheless, this in non-waterproof, Lancome Hypnose, I'm 100% going to repurchase that at some point when I've got through my mascaras. And this Rimmel one, obviously, I'm not going to repurchase. That's going to have to go in the trash. Um, I've got a couple more skincare products from an M&S or Marks & Spencer's line. And it's their Pure Natural Beauty line. And it's the Super Grape Day Cream and the Super Grape Night Cream. I did enjoy these. I do like the scent and they gave a nice um, result um, but I'm not 
wanting to put such heavily scented products on my skin moving forwards on a regular basis so for that reason I won't be repurchasing them um, not that I actively avoid fragrances just when it's that strong I can't help but think that it might not be very good um, plus my holy grail skincare at the minute is L'Oreal Revitalift this one and so that's what I'm going forward with at the, min at the moment um, I got this sample in the glossy box it's Noxydoxy Magnificent Enhancing Serum Base yes I really really enjoyed this um, I was thinking about repurchasing even though it's not that easy to get hold of so I'm going to go ahead and say I'm not going to be repurchasing it A because it's not that easy to get hold of and B even though at the time that was probably the best serum I'd ever tried I've since then found a serum which I actually prefer more which I'll talk to you about in another video lastly last but not least I've got a big bag of nail products oh this one was used up so this is not a fail I've got another one of this and I would definitely repurchase it it's the Revlon quick dry top coat um, so yes this is really great top coat and I'm getting through another one now so yes I would repurchase that these are all the products then that are fails so I've got two Technic polishes I usually like sorry bashing about I usually like Technic polishes but these two were from their pretty pastels range which I didn't realize would have such a different formula and they're terrible um, they just apply quite patchy the ends uh, look kind of nearer the ends when you've applied it it kind of looks less opaque than the rest of it and also it ships really quickly and really easily it's just the point where they're completely useless and so I'm gonna have to chuck them um, this is from a brand called professional nail care and it's a French white studio finish it's just it separates and needs um, you can see that needs sort of shaking a lot and I just don't really ever apply a French manicure so that's gonna have to go it's really old um, this is really old as well and I'm not into these sort of very thin liquidy um, nail polishes with glitter or shimmer in uh, sort of shimmer in them like a pearlescent I don't know I just feel that very mature and I, I, I'm gonna probably have a lot of time in later in life to enjoy these I don't necessarily need to wear them now and if you can see I mean, it's literally like water um, the brand is Mark Wins International and um, then I've got from the same line as this one another one different packaging same product is their white tip French manicure stuff then I've got an Avon nail experts um, polish in buffed pink this is a very thin formula in this square bottle you can see how old the packaging is just goes to show you how long I've had this it's never been any good there's barely any color payoff on it it's just completely useless really um, yep random red polish just old and a cheap brand um, ceramic smooth resin enriched gloopy mess yep old and unloved sorry guys that's the truth um, I'm getting rid of this makeup revolution minty nail polish because I got it in my um, Oh, I'm trying to think what the word is, advent calendar, my Christmas advent calendar. Although I love the shade, I have managed to found and find another shade by a better brand, OPI, which lasts longer. This just chips on me. Um, and so the, the other nail polishes I got from the same advent calendar don't all have the same formula, thankfully. But that one, although I love the colour, just chips on me like that and I can't be doing with it. Another sort of no-name brand, it's like a red with like a gold shimmer going through. And then look at this. Now this I used to love. This was another um, Avon polish called Tropical Punch. I used to wear this all the time. I loved it years ago, but it's just very old now. And the formula again chips easily and is quite thin. Um, another no-named red nail polish. Um, and this last nail product is Mav Mavala Penetrating Nail Hardener. Now I know this isn't the cheapest thing in the world and I inherited this um, from my grandma. My grandma gave me all of her nail products when she passed away and this was one of them in there. But um, yeah, it just, my nails don't respond well to this sort of thing. It's like a clear liquid that soaks into your nail straight away. I just find my nails need moisture and protein and these hardeners type products just generally dry my nails out a lot. 
so that's everything in this installment of empties and fails let me know in the comments what you've been enjoying and if you recommend uh, for me to try anything that you've used up all the way and enjoyed i hope that you found it entertaining and useful give me a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you're not already and i'll see you in the next one guys bye